Video captured trick-or-treaters behaving badly. In Mira Mesa, these kids appeared to... Oh, hi. Funny seeing you here. So, Halloween, a time where others can pretend to be someone they're not or something they're not. Whilst indulging in addictive treats, sounds like every college university party. Now, with COVID going around and having worked with kids myself in the past, I know exactly just how germy they can be. Scientists think mosquitoes are the number one carriers of disease. No, if you worked in the school that I worked in, you would know that's wrong. So the problem is, you know, that kids are going to come around, rummage their hands around in bowls full of uh, sweets or candy for all you Murica people out there. And, you know, all of that mixing around of germs and whatnot, you know, there's going to be a pretty high risk of spreading something known as the coronavirus. I'm pretty sure some of you may have heard of it. I've got this pumpkin sweets candy bowl here. As you can see, it's pretty empty inside, just like myself. The goal is to transform it into a candy sweet blasting machine, which makes it both COVID safe and slightly hazardous. Now, what I have here is an IR sensor, which is often used in burglar alarms and does motion detecting night lights. It basically is used to detect motion, which is perfect for our needs. So now we've got a bunch of other components connected together. So let's just see what we have. Firstly, we've got our IR sensor, which will be sending an output signal to our Arduino board when it detects motion. The Arduino board is like the brains of the abomination we're about to create. It is going to be running our code on it, which will tell it what to do based off a series of inputs and outputs. So when it receives a signal from the IR sensor, it will activate both the relay board and the linear actuator. The relay board is pretty simple. All it's going to be doing is completing a high voltage circuit to power this abomination. The linear actuator here is essentially a servo motor that moves this little front bar thingy to help feed our ammo, I mean uh, sweets, into the flywheels. Lastly we have a ton of wires and a bulb which will be replaced eventually by the flywheel motors but for now the bulb turning on indicates everything is working all good in our circuit. Now here is a quick demo of the internals, so you can see the motion triggers the Arduino to activate the linear actuator and turn on the bulb, which in the final version will be the flywheel motors. Now we pretty much just need to get all of this inside the jack-o-lantern, but before that let's do a quick firing test of the flywheel motors. Now these motors are powered by a forest lipo battery and they are extremely powerful. So here's a demo of the motor and actuator within the jack-o'-lantern. And a firing test with actual Haribo ammo. Alright that was a bit fast but you should be able to see that red gelatinous projectile. Now the problem is, the speed and heat friction of the flywheel seems to pretty much melt these Haribos on contact. So in the next test I'll swap out the Haribos for marshmallow ammo and fully load up. Alright guys, here comes the first test. So we're just going to walk past here and see what happens. Lee. Alright, so after some tinkering around with the feed mechanism, we've got our final product ready for a test run.
so I consider that another resounding success. So like always guys, please do hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, support my content and keep updated. And like always, I will see you guys in the next video. Happy Halloween. See ya.